Hey again, guys. You know what I want to do right now? I want to look at some baseball cards. How many of you have ever heard of Spud Chandler? Spud Chandler was a pretty amazing pitcher with an incredible winning percentage. He had the lowest ERA, I think it was 1.67, from 1920 until 1967. Now, he doesn't have very many cards at all. The only mainstream card I know of that he has is the 1940 play ball. He also has a Eureka stamp. Uh, those were issued in 1949. And um, I had this I found years ago. Some sort of uh, cutout from a magazine. It's kind of like an oversized card. I had grabbed this because I couldn't find any of his cards. And I got a very rare one now. And uh, these are from 1946. And you know what? I can never do it justice pronouncing the word. So I'm going to let James from Elite Hunters pronounce it for you. Propaganda Montiel. So here is the Spud Chandler from this set. Now I'm going to show you the other ones that I have. I have uh, a Joe DiMaggio here. I have a Dom DiMaggio. I have a Jimmy Fox. I have a Carl Hubble. And I have a Johnny Mize. Now, I don't know if you can see the condition of these. These are very thin, thin paper, very thin paper cards. They were often glued into um, scrapbooks. You're just not going to find these in any kind of top grade. They're all going to be low grade. Now, this one got a one. And you might be asking yourself, why did this get a one? Well, either the grader was smoking crack or he's not familiar with these cards because this is the sharpest one I've ever seen. Certainly the nicest looking one in my collection. This, it is just in great condition. And my cat jumped up on my, on my table here. Gets a little jealous when I look at my baseball cards. Yeah, I don't, I, I have no idea why this got that grade, but um, of the ones I have here, what do I have? Uh, good two. Um, good two. Right, good two. Poor one. Poor one. So, out of all of these, and I mean, they look great. But these are the conditions you're going to find these in. But this one. Man, this is one of the sharpest ones I've ever seen. I don't know why I got a one. But anyway, those are my 1946. I'll let James say it. Propaganda Montiel. Now these were Cuban issue cards and they had uh, several different uh, subjects. There was uh, tennis, boxing. It's pretty much the first major set issued after World War II. Now the name. Propaganda Montiel. That loosely translates to mean sport kings or kings of sport, something along those lines. And this particular Spud Chandler is a very rare card. There's only been two graded by PSA, this one, and there is a two with a qualifier. And that's it. That's how rare these are. I think there's something, something along the lines of only 703 from the entire set ever graded by PSA. So once again, thanks for watching. Propaganda Montiel.